Welcome to another Irish Focus here on Racing Post TV. And we are getting ready in Ireland for the biggest weekend of them all. The final of the Boyle Sports Irish Greyhound Derby will dominate the action and all eyes will be on Shelburne Park. Before we take a look at the final, let's take a look back at two sensational semi-finals from last Saturday evening. In the opening heat, New Wynn Taylor was an 8-13 favourite to continue his imperious form. And well, as you're about to see from Trap 6, he made no mistake. Keep an eye also on 5 Ballymac Cooper running a big race in second, while Mina Miracle living up to her name, qualifying at 16-1 to in third. Racing, good start by Taylor, took an absolute flyer, leads to the men from five, Ballymac Cooper back in third, one catch me flying, shoots up the inside of two, mean a miracle but out front and it is, new in Taylor, on by five lengths, two in second, Ballymac Cooper, then comes two, mean a miracle, four making a forward move, toolmaker Sydney, as you'd expect but he's checked up at the third bend, it's six, new in Taylor, from five, Ballymac Cooper and two, mean a miracle, off the final turn, it's new in Taylor, imperious again, in second is five, Ballymac Cooper and Mean a Miracle, the sole bitch into the final in third. The winning time 29 13. Stunning run by New in Taylor 332 1680. What a run! After a flawless display by New in Taylor, all eyes then turned to Bastana in the second heat. Here, unfortunately, Boyle Sports Extra representing the sponsor John Boyle and the very popular Paul Hennessy was a non runner. He will be fitting well within a couple of weeks, but I'm afraid they couldn't take a chance. As I said, Pastana, the hot favourite of 4 to 11. Kalara Icon was also to qualify in third, but Bally McWild was the nearest Pastana at the line. Just watch Pastana go. Racing, good start by three, Pastana, again took a flyer, Ballymac Wild in chase in second, Glen Garbell racing up on the outside to challenge, but it's out front, trap three, Pastana, on by three lengths, two in second, Ballymac Wild, Glen Garbell back in third, further gap to one, Clare Icon starting the race, and in the satchel, but on the third bend, and Pastana is on by four lengths, 17.09, Pastana off the final bend, still four lengths clear from five, Ballymac Wild, but Pastana... Perfect again. Second is five, Bally McWild. And Kalara Icon is in the Derby decider. He's in third. But the winning time, 29-39. Pastana, another superb run. But a bit behind New and Taylor on the clock. Yes, a breathtaking display by Pastana. Not going quite as quick as New and Taylor. And now the stage is set for a thrilling decider on Saturday night. You see the trap draw. Bally McWild in one at 13-2 to two chance best odds. Mean a miracle available at 51 in places. Kalara Icon at 40-1. to one. Pastana, the 13-8 to eight second choice. Bally Cooper at 10-1 to one chance in trap five. And outside, New and Taylor set to start favourite for the 2020 Boyle Sports Irish Greyhound Derby. It really does uh, promise to be one of the great contests. Of course, the big two very much dominating the market on best price as well. They're about a, well, about a one to eight chance to land the spoils. But strange things can happen in a derby final. And certainly at those prices, the two outsiders at 50 to one and 40 to one, well, you could do no worse than have a couple of euro on either of them. But we'll also be looking forward to the Derby Plate Final. And of course, run the name of my father, Michael Fortune. And we take a look back now at the semi-finals. In the opening heat, Ballyhimmick and Jet was a red-hot favourite at 4-7. to seven. Unfortunately, Luck was certainly not on his side tonight, pulling up injured at the opening corner. Thankfully, he's right as rain he has been operated on and hopes are very high that he will race again. Keep an eye instead on one Lemon Boris and Ravenswood Mango. They battled out a great finish, and behind them, Lemon Ozzy was a bit of an eye-catcher. Racing, good start by Trap 3, Ballyhimmick and Jet challenged by 2, Ravenswood Mango back in 3rd, you have 1, Lemon Boris, but Ballyhimmick and Jet, oh he balked on the corner and now it's 2, Ravenswood Mango leads him into the back from in 2nd spot, 1, Lemon Boris, a long long way back to 4, Lemon Aussie in 3rd, it is Ravenswood Mango, Lemon Boris hot in her heels in 2nd, then comes 4, Lemon Aussie showing big pace to close, but it's Trap 2, Ravenswood Mango for Liam O'Rourke again off the final turn, Lemon Boris coming out the leader, Lemon Boris! Boris gets there from two Ravenswood Mango and four Lemon Aussie who made up incredible ground to uh, finish a very close third. The winning time, 30.06. Little separating the front three in the finish there. 
And it was a different story in the second heat where Black Parachute, the 10 to 11 favorite, duly justified his short odds. Sweep the Yard was a, a good runner in second spot, a second runner for Graham Holland, who of course also had Black Parachute. And back in third, Razzle Dazzle Monarch. Racing, good start by Trap 3 in the middle, Black Parachute, one up the inside, Doolin Prince and four, Sweep the Yard, but it is three, Black Parachute, that will lead on the corner from in second spot, four, Sweep the Yard, back in third, one, Doolin Prince, but it's three, Black Parachute on by two and a half to four, Sweep the Yard and one, Doolin Prince, it's three, Black Parachute from his kennel companion, Sweep the Yard, Doolin Prince checks up in third, two, Razzle Dazzle Monarch now going third, but out front, Black Parachute has led from the opening yards, goes on to win, four, Sweep the Yard, a big Big run in second, back in third, was two Razzle Dazzle Monarch. The winning time, 29.40. Track not as fast tonight. There seems little doubt that Black Parachute is the fastest Greyhound in the final. And, well, after getting handed the Trap 1 draw, well, he'll be a very short price to come out on top. Sweep the Yard, um, a likely second choice with Lemon Aussie, another one found in the market. Big prices about the remainder, but it looks like Black Parachute will be landing the spoils in that one. On so to Kilkenny on Friday night, and we saw the introduction of well, the introduction of some real potential superstars. These, of course, the dogs that were racing in the final of the Kilkenny Track Champion Open unraced. All eyes were on Bull Run Bar and Bull Run Norris, should I say? Ideally housed in the striped jacket, he'd been brilliant in the previous rounds. But look, not on the side on this occasion. Instead, it was one deadly samurai who was improved through the stake, making the most of a trap one draw. Both Greyhounds, as you can see, going up reasonably well, but Bull Run Norris out of luck in the corner is Trap 3. Dark Devil, who happens to be a close relation of Bull Run Norris, hampering him. And instead, it was Deadly Samurai, who was left with a three or four length lead. Bull Run Norris showing exceptional pace in defeat and really closing all the way to the line. But Deadly Samurai was to hold on by the minimum margin from an advancing Bull Run Norris. I'd imagine both of these Greyhounds will show up at Shelburne Park for the Juvenile Derby, and we eagerly await their rematch. Back in third, Pilgrim Hill also running a big race. The winner in time there, 28-82. And so we also move on then to the action at Limerick on Saturday evening, where, well, one of the great campaigners of the last two to three years, Skywalker Logan, was, well, showing that age is only a number. This fellow approaching his fourth birthday, simply brilliant in the final of the Emerald Lyle Casino, Irish Cambridgeshire, collecting a 5,000 euro check for his connections. He is in the home straight of his career, Skywalker Logan, but as you're about to see, he's still a very, very talented tracker. Behind him in second, Ballymac Kingdom, the Corn Cullen winner. Often racing in the centre, trap three, Skywalker Logan shows his customary early pace, already a length advantage over four, Ballymac Kingdom, then one, Deadly Delago Sporting, Pat then has a lot to make up, as is Red Sir Arthur, but by the line for the opening time, and about a five length advantage is Skywalker Logan for Pat Gilfoyle, can they catch this one, goes down the back about eight lengths, clear of four, that's Ballymac Kingdom, six coming into it, Springwood Varley, then one, that is Deadly Delago, five, Red Sir Arthur and Sporting Pat out the back of the field, but this one's still clear by about six lengths, it's Skywalker Logan trying to make every post the winner in the Ember Loyal Casino, Irish Cambridgeshire, here comes six, Springwood Vardy, an outsider, but it is three, it's Skywalker Logan hangs on to win the Irish Cambridgeshire four. Bally Mac Kingdom was very closely back in second, then six. It looked like Springwood Vardy back in third. The winning time here was 41 41. What a run there by our winner, Skywalker Logan. Yes, Skywalker Logan, a true sight to behold when in full stride. His beautiful white frame, um, carrying cleared on the back straight and breaking the track record with a 41-41 return. On Saturday night, the ladies also had their chance to shine in the final of the Dave Collins Memorial Munster Oaks at Waterford. All eyes were on trap four, Drupy Curio, who had broken the track record in the semi-finals, but unfortunately, look not on her side. Instead, keep an eye on Risk of Thunder, racing from trap two. Fine display by the winner. Racing in the Monster Oaks final, and four is left at the traps as two goes to front. Risk of Thunder, and they're onto the first bend. Five and second place, Fabulous Bell. So as they go on the first bend, it's Risk of Thunder from five now. Fabulous Bell, three in behind him. Also six, one, and four heading down the back stretch. It's two and five having a great buckle up front. Two on the rails, Risk of Thunder. Five on the outside, Fabulous Bell. Now four gets into top gear. This will be some performance if she wins tonight as they run up towards the winning line. Oh, four is in trouble again, and two goes on to score. That's Risk of Thunder wins the Monster Oaks in a winning time of 28.41.
in victory, Risk of Thunder, going unbeaten through the competition for Lorraine Moore. And she will want, she is one that will certainly appear in the Sporting Press Irish Oaks at Shelburne Park a little later in the career, or in the little later in the year. Have no doubt about that. Now it's time we look ahead to Saturday night's action at Shelburne Park and the supporting card. And the first race we're going to take a look at is the Open Sprint. And what a cracking sprint this promises to be. Galti Exeter, very impressive at Shelburne Park last week, but he's taking on a different animal this week in the form of Brody's Magic, one of the couple of stars that really shone through in the Irish Sprint Cup. We're going to watch him winning the semi-final of that competition in a track record breaking time. Here you see Brody's Magic racing from trap three and well, bang, he hit the lids and got racing straight away, showing exceptional acceleration into the opening corner. This was perhaps the only time in the competition he did hit the lids like that. And as a result, he smashed the track record that was held by Grange 10 for all of 15 minutes in the other semi-final. But Brody's Magic, a truly sensational sprinter. After Shelburne Park, it looks like he'll be going to the Laurels. He, very, he trialed very well at Cork recently over the 5-2-5 yard trip. The next supporting race we're going to look at at Shelburne Park is the... This is the Constellation Derby, of course, over 550 yards. And here we're going to take a look at Dear Jet Sydney, a cracking contest. Claims can be made for a number of these. Schoolmaker Sydney, though, perhaps the best of the draw on the fence. Just watch Trap 5 here, Dear Jet Sydney. He's racing from four in the contest we're about to show you. He will cut inwards, so perhaps Frankie's Jet could represent value. And off they go in a good step by four. Dear Jet Sydney straight in. Three lengths and Bocco avoiding him. But he's back and forth into the bend. It's four. Dear Jet Sydney from the inside one. Butsy's he's Bengal. Now Lentz and Bocco tries to get racing. But he takes another bump up four and on. But it's out front. Dear Jet Sydney on by four lengths. Two in second one. Butsy's he's Bengal. Lentz and Bocco challenging now for second spot. But it is four. Dear Jet Sydney going to lead them into the home straight. From three. Lentz and Bocco one. Butsy's he's Bengal. But up to the line. And it is four. Dear Jet Sydney wins. Second was trapped two razzle dazzle Maya Lentz and Bocco was back in third not Bocco at his best but he's still there but a fine display by Dear Jet Sydney fastest of the night thus far 29-39 a trap five draw potential big problem for Dear Jet Sydney it'd be very interesting to see if he can get across the rail in the opening yards quite as easily as he did there the next race we're going to take a look at in the sporting card is the Open 750 and what a contest this really does promise to be you saw Ballymac Kingdom the Corn Cullen uh, winner finishing second to Skywalker Logan in the Cambridgeshire but this is him on his finest night winning the Corn Cullen also in shot with a Red Zerardfurt of course the UK St. Ledger winner in Sporting Pat who will be finishing at pace but this night in the Corn Cullen was all about Ballymac Kingdom Racing, good start by Trap 3 in the middle. Ballymac Kingdom in the inside. Lentz and Blinder 5, Bally Doyle B. And then comes Red Radford, but he's forced to check his stride. And Ballymac Kingdom will lead him into the home straight. Lentz and Blinder swings off wide. Gives Red Radford to run up the inside. But it's 3, Ballymac Kingdom on by 4. To 1, Lentz and Blinder. 2, Red Radford again finding trouble. It's 3, Ballymac Kingdom. Lentz and Blinder in chase. It got back to Deadly Dulago, who's picking up ground. But out front and still 3, Ballymac Kingdom leads on the 5th. Bend one Lentz and Blinder tries to close. I catching him behind. Deadly Delago gets closer onto the final bend. It is three up the home straight. Ballymac Kingdom is going to get there. Scores from one Lentz and Blinder. Five may have grabbed third. Bally Doyle B on the line from Deadly Delago, but no doubt about the winner. Ballymac Kingdom that early speed proving decisive, and he goes on to win in 41-41. There seems little doubt with the track likely to be running on the quick side, uh, given the nice that's in it. Uh, Ballymac Kingdom will be very hard to pick up if he does happen to hit the front. The last supporting race we're going to look at is that for the bitches. An open 5-2-5. We saw Drewby's Curio suffering defeat in the Munster Oaks. Well, she'll be favoured to win this bitch 5-2-5. Although, facing a tricky draw out in trap 5, she faces some really notable opposition. Battle cry, a 28-06 winner last time. Bally McTaz, runner-up in the 2019 English Derby in Sleeve League. A very talented type also. And then you've got the youngster up the inside, Rowana Bess. It really is a cracking contest. But if Drewby's Curio brings her A game, well, she's very hard to stop. This is her in action in the Puppy Oaks. 
Racing, good start by Trap 4, freed from desire. Now two showing speed, Drupi's Curio, and Drupi's Curio will take the corner from in second spot, free from desire. Then comes six, Ballybrack Gem, but out front, and it is two, Drupi's Curio on by four lengths now, two in second spot, six, Ballybrack Gem, and four, free from desire, but out front, and still Trap 2, Drupi's Curio sets a blistering gallop, free from desire, second, six, Ballybrack Gem running a big race in third of the outside, but up to the line, and it is Trap 2, Drupi's Curio will score, desperately tight for second the winning time 28 13 droopy's curio getting loose early and very impressive in victory that really was droopy's curio at her very finest and as i've said if she hits the lids she'll be very hard to stop well that's the look back at the action now all we can do is keep our fingers crossed that everything goes off as planned at shelburne park on saturday night for the final of the 2020 boil sports irish greyhound derby we'll be showing you all 12 races here on the channel 175 so make sure you're tuned in of course the feature very much the final of the derby and well it promised to be one of the races of the ages it's going to take a lot of well, brilliance, luck, determination, and who knows, a bit of fate. I can't wait. Join us then for what should be an absolute classic.